hey, at the end of this video, check out the new PhoneDog.com homepage. And spin to win. Play the one pod bandit. Win free phones. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Noah from PhoneDog.com here with the Palm Free. It's the third video in a series of, I don't know, maybe we'll do like eight or nine million videos. <laughs> no idea. On the pre, uh, you can check out the unboxing. You can check out the uh, second video, which is kind of the first hands-on hardware comparison between the pre and some of its biggest competitors, iPhone 3G, T-Mobile G1, BlackBerry Storm, uh, and then kind of a first look at the hardware and the webOS in action. Uh, this video, we're going to start off by showing you a little bit about the... Uh, Data migration, setting the phone up, contacts, how that all works. Uh, we'll look at synergy. You know, we'll look at we'll look at all the stuff that the phone does. Get it all for you. So you know, here's the box, and I've got the phone itself hooked up right now to my Mac. Um, here's the pre, and uh, got it hooked up to the Mac. Uh, there was a um, data exchange program uh, for Mac and Windows. Pretty easy to use. I uh, downloaded it off of the, uh, there was a link to download it off the Palm website, downloaded it, ran pretty easily, and it auto-synced, apparently just hitting the button, synced up with my Mac's uh, iCal for calendar and address book for contact information, which would be great uh, if it worked, hopefully it did. It's the next Apple guy who ran the show for the pre, uh, John Rubenstein over at Palm, so you know, I would assume it works with Mac. Obviously, uh, there are options for PC users as well. And so I've got this hooked up now. Where would I want to transfer my data to a Google or Exchange account to my Palm profile? Um, so when I first started the phone up, I had to set up a Palm profile. Uh, when I activated the phone, you can see in the first video, I had to enter an email address and everything and create a Palm profile. And then I got an email actually uh, with an activation link saying click to activate your, your Palm profile. So I did that and now I've got, um, you know, I've got that set up. And so now I'm being asked where I want to transfer my data. And I'm going to go, well, let's get the camera so you can see this hands on. We'll switch the camera for a second. All right, so you can see on my Mac screen there, I've successfully transferred 791 items to my phone. Uh, those, I assume, being 791 contacts and bits of calendar information. And so. We'll get the, uh, the phone in view here, so I'll disconnect the USB cable. The phone obviously comes with a USB cable uh, for easy transfer. So here's the pre. Um, if you, you, know, you should watch the other videos to get a, a sense and read all the reviews, ours and you know, everybody else to get a sense. But the phone is very small. It feels really small in the hand, which is, which is nice. I actually kind of like how small it feels. The screen still, you know, Pretty large, it seems. I have to play with it more, but uh, you know, my quick kind of first testing look at some stuff on the web and some photos and everything looked really nice. So, we'll go about these options, and I can transfer my data to Google or an Exchange account, or I can back it up in my Palm profile. So, I'm going to go Google account because I already have a Gmail account, and uh, we'll do that yeah, you don't here. Know. We'll go to email. And so it's syncing up with my inbox still, it looks like. HTML email looks really nice. Scrolls pretty easily. Yeah, this looks pretty good so far. A little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a tiny lag. Kind of iPhone-esque. I don't think it's the, you know, I think it's just because it's still loading or, you know, whatever it's doing processing. But the screen feels pretty responsive. Let's hit a reply here. And so it loads up in a new card. It took a quick, sec quick second to load up. Not too bad. Really attractive. I mean, really nice job on that. You know, it, 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 the, the usability and the way things look and everything more and more important these days because all the phones have such great functionality. And this is really attractive looking. I thought, you know, the iPhone was one of the first devices to have really good looking email. Windows Mobile, obviously not so much. Um, Symbian S60. You know, you can skin it different ways and everything, not too bad. Uh, Android is fairly nice. This looks really nice as well. So we'll try out the keyboard here, and uh, we'll do the old quick brown fox test.
Yeah, so I think, you know, it, it's not the best keyboard ever. Certainly a lot smaller than something like uh, a BlackBerry. I have a curve here, I think. Yeah. So here's a BlackBerry 8900. And you can see, you know, the Pre's keyboard definitely smaller. I said a lot smaller. It's not a lot, a lot smaller than the 8900, but definitely um, smaller, a little bit narrower. Um, you know, the keys, just, just the overall layout, a little bit narrower. But uh, I think with the, the, the Palm Pre keyboard, it's not going to be like um, a BlackBerry Bold or, you know, like the new HTC's, the uh, Touch Pro 2 or something like that where you've got this giant keyboard and you're just like, oh, this is so great to type on right out of the box. I think it's more like you'll get used to it and it'll be fine. The top top layer bumps up a little bit against the, uh, the top row bumps up a little, get, little bit against the top layer of the, of the phone, which, you know, isn't my favorite thing ever. Um, the keys are a little bit small. The, the feeling of the plastic is still a little weird. I'm trying to get, I don't know, best way to describe it. Uh, somebody I know said something about like, oh man, all those pre-users are going to have calluses on their thumbs after a while. I don't know if that's quite true, but uh, definitely, you know, kind of this weird sort of glossy and grippy at the same time. But, uh, you know, it, it seemed to work pretty well. I missed the T there, but uh, this is really my first time typing on it. Not too bad. So let's see what I have to do to uh, to correct. So, you know, there's no Apple magnifying glass there. You just kind of click, but it's pretty accurate. Click where you want to go and correct. Now, this is, the, this is somewhere where I do sort of wish that there was a D-pad or a trackball or something, just because I've been finding the more of these phones that I test, I really like the way that, uh, like the G1, has both the the touch screen and the trackball. I think it's nice to be able to zoom in on kind of, you know, the really fine things like getting exactly the cursor on exactly the letter you want to correct or clicking little tiny links on a web page or something. I like having that second option, trackball, d-pad, something. Uh, that being said, you know, this seems to work pretty well. You saw there I hit the button and I went back to cards view and there's the original email and there's my reply that I'm writing. Um, you can see now I've got the choices to add an attachment or to send the email off. So we'll hit attachment. Did that not take? Or is it just being slow? There we go. So I can go to the photo roll. I can take a new photo. I can take a video. There's a, there, oh, there's a video. That's the tutorial video that comes with it. Uh, I can add a sound clip, although there are no sound clips. Or I could add a document. And so there's some you know, information there. And uh, there you go. Now, can I swipe back? Yep, so I swipe back on the gesture area down there. And um, now I'm back to my email. I can hit reply to send it. I actually don't want to send it, though. I want to go back and cancel it. So goodbye. And there you go. Um, we'll get more into that. The more I use this, you know, when I get to an actual review, so it saved a draft for me down there. You know, the more I'll talk about the gestures and the way that the pre does things and that whole, like, swiping to go back and the cards and everything. But, uh, you know, right now I'm not going to worry about that too much. Uh, let's see. So there you go. I uh, click the little notification tab on the bottom, and now you can see what's going on. It's syncing my Google account, and then I have new 14 new emails. Uh, time from Chad is the uh, the first one there. So we'll go back. All right, so here's uh, here's my Pandora account where I, I set up one uh, one station with TV on the radio, but uh, let's just hit quick mix and see what happens. In fact, while this is loading up, let's leave that loading. And this is kind of cool. If you rotate the phone, I believe he's a what? He's a what? He's a newspaper man. I thought that the uh, Maybe not. I thought that the cards would also rotate. But anyway, so now this is going. And I like this song. And while this is going, I'm going to pull the wave bar. I don't know what this is actually called, but I've heard it called the wave bar. And I like that. So if you drag up from the gesture area, you get this little quick launcher. 
and I want to browse the web. Well, nah, YouTube? Nah, let's browse the web. What's going on? In my mind, I'm counting butterflies and broken dreams and alibis. That's so we'll go to the web we'll go to phone doggy dog and so then while this is loading up we'll go back and we'll go to the app store we'll go back and let's get a uh, let's get connect 4 My music's still playing over Pandora, which is good. And that's downloading. Pandora wants my attention, you can see. Not sure why. I'm gonna go back. And so for each card, it remembers where you are, and so you can back swipe. And I guess I don't have messaging open anymore, though. This is just my conversation with Aaron, and there's nothing else to show. So that's why that didn't come up. But I'll go to messaging. And I'm going to go to buddies, home free video. Now I'll go back. And I'll go to my Connect 4 demo. And, uh, yeah, let's launch it. And that's launching. And it's taking it a, a second there. But again, you know, I have a bunch of things running. Now, the Palm said, you know, theoretically, you can have as many cards going as you want. Um, so now you can see Pandora notifying me. I have a new, uh, new song playing. So it's my turn. I'm going to go there. I know. All right. Well, Pandora wants me to know. All right. So I'm still uh, still syncing and on call. Kings of Leon. Yeah, sure. That's a thumbs up. Why not? And now let's go back. And I'm gonna go there. That might have been a dumb move. Opponent should go right there, right? Force me into, yeah. And you know what? While this is happening, let's see if uh, go to the web, and I'm gonna call up. Uh, Oh wait, I already had phone dog open, I forgot about that. So let's go back and let's see, uh, did phone dog load up? Yeah, look at that, phone dog. Now, will the accelerometer kick in on the web? There it is. And if I go back, this is kind of interesting. I guess it's certain apps or car are, are uh, enabled for the accelerometer, others aren't. So you can see, or I don't know, if I, if I tap here, Will messaging change? Looks like it won't. Looks like messaging stays that way. The app store seems to stay that way, right? But then I can go phone dog, and phone dog is enabled for widescreen, and then you know the whole menu changes. So zoom in and. Aaron is at the uh, Pompre lunch party. In Atlanta, I believe. I think he and Tom were supposed to fly there, but there were thunderstorms, so I don't know if Tom made it. Aaron was driving there last I knew. I can close the phone up. This is still loading. While it's loading, let's go back. And uh, while that's loading, I'm going to take my turn here.
None of my friends are messaging me back, so that's too bad. We'll look a little more in depth at the messaging in another video. But you know, it's like a little entertainment center with the music going in the background. And again, that's not, you know, music playing in the background. Oh, I lost. See, I can't play Connect 4 and do a video at the same time. All right, enough of you, Connect 4. Um, the phone's getting a little warm in the back as I'm doing this, which is kind of interesting. So that page is loaded up, and now I've got a new song playing. So if you haven't yet checked out uh, our new look, we've redesigned the homepage a little bit, you should check that out. Uh, a bunch of people asking questions in the comments. Wow, look at all those questions. Awesome. So I should really, uh, I should read some of those questions. Meantime, I'm going to go back to Pandora. Spoon. I like Spoon. Thumbs up. Still syncing my Google. Let's go back to my, uh, my email there. And that went straight to that message, so that in the notifications bar, I don't know if you noticed, but it was the Swoopo newsletter, and it went directly to that message, and I believe in the cards, do I have an email already open? No, I don't, okay. I thought I had email already open, but I did not. So I can go to email, I should be able to go, whoops, I did not mean to do that. So a little tiny bit of accuracy issues, you know, we all get used to that. Let's move to folder. Inbox. Oh, I didn't mean to move the email. I want to go to my inbox. If I swipe back, there we go. Okay. And now I'm back to my inbox, which is still syncing. And now I don't need to see email anymore. And there's the web. Let's look at our web uh, menu here. So I can go bookmarks, I can open a new card, um, all kinds of stuff. I can add the page to the launcher, so let's do that. Let's add this page to the launcher. And I can add Aaron's coverage of the Palm Pre event to the launcher. So if I go to the launcher, now I should have, there it is, Phone Dogs exclusive coverage. So there you go, little bookmarklet kind of thing. All right, so that's kind of a first look at Palm Pre's web OS in action with the, uh, now I've got a new message there. There you go. The multi-syncing and a little bit look at the messaging and the email, I mean multitasking rather, a little look at the messaging and the email and the syncing of contacts and all that stuff. Pandora running in the background, the App Store, lots of business. Much, much more on the Palm Pre, all the crazy things it can do, how it stacks up. It's getting a little warm. It's nice that it's so small though. Lots more! on phonedog.com. I'm Noah from phonedog.com. Uh, Aaron's at the party now. He'll have his hands-on impressions soon. You can ask questions on that page or you can uh, hit us up in the forums or you know whatever. We'll, we'll try to get to as many of your questions as we can as we go through uh, the most hyped up new cell phone since the iPhone, I think. It's the uh, Palm Pre for Sprint, $199 on contract, goes on sale on Saturday, June 6th. We got it a day early. Not too bad. Much more on phonedog.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.